Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and what I've got here is the very latest 2013 Haswell-based Apple MacBook Air. This is the 13-inch version, and instead of being an off-the-shelf model, this is actually a built-to-order model. As you can see here on the screen, that it's actually housing an Intel Core i7 processor running at 1.7 gigahertz. Also inside, 256 gigabytes of flash storage, eight gigabytes of 1600 megahertz DDR3 memory, and it's also running the latest Mac OS 10.8.4. So let's set this Geekbench running. This is the full version of Geekbench running the 64-bit test, and we'll see what the scores come in like. And I'll give you some comparison with the previous version of the MacBook Air. I previously was using a 2012 version MacBook Air with an Intel Core i7 Ivy Bridge processor running at two gigahertz. So a slightly higher clock rate on the processor but the previous generation. It also had eight gigabytes of RAM and it also had 256 gigabytes of flash storage. Now just while this is finishing off running the benchmark, I will let you know that there's also an unboxing of this MacBook Air on the Geek and Noise channel and also a disk speed test as well. So please do check out the links underneath this video so you can see the unboxing and see how this performs with regards to the storage that they've actually built into the latest MacBook Air. So this has now finished. We've now got a score come in from Geekbench. And wow, this is a really good score. The overall Geekbench score, as you can see here, is 8,320. That compares to the previous 2012 MacBook Air of 7,691. And then we've got a processor Intica performance of 6,414. The previous MacBook Air, 6,061. Processor floating point performance, 11,132. The previous MacBook Air, 10,233. Memory performance coming in at 7,147, and that compares to the 2012 version, which scored 6,266. And then the memory bandwidth performance there is 7,502, and again, that far exceeds the 7,353 on the previous version. So a good performance gain on this Haswell-based Intel Core i7 13-inch MacBook Air. Now, if you want to see these results in detail, there is a link underneath the video in the description which links you to all of the Macs I've ever tested and actually logged the scores with Geekbench. You can click through to my Geekbench profile and see this one in comparison to other Macs that are out there and available on the market today. So thanks very much for watching. Please do check out all of those links. Please do hit like on this video. It really does help. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.